reporting that uh, we are uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have control. We have converged uh, a lot of the error, and we should be heading toward the target. Play EDL. Uh, TDS warning is okay. When Copy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen. Uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the MEBB instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. Vehicles reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignments. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continuing to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. Predicted mid-distance downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. Yeah. Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Wrist mode under our parachute. Our 20 and are at 150 meters per second. Dynamic phase. Come back again with uh, wrist mode dynamics. Wrist mode is nominal. We are Blood 9 kilometers in descending. Eight the active. Valid range. Net filter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We have acquired the ground with the radar. An altitude of 8 kilometers. Feet shield sep has separated where we found the ground. Tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for powered flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweedo warnings. It is in battle short mode, so it should power through them. Director Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers and descending. We have lost, act we have lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters, vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. Start enabled, standing by for back shell separation. Signaled Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. We're at an altitude of one kilometer descent. Down to 50 meters per second. Constant velocity accordion nominal, altitude error 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place, we're coming in ready for sky cramp. at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting quite a bit of thing. Ribby stable. Ribby stable.
time to see where our curiosity will take us. At this time, the evaluation should be complete to set a stage at a safe distance. We are continuing to receive telemetry from Curiosity. We're safe. From the surface of Mars. As camp sequence is kicked off, waiting for images. Heads up, folks! EDL ops, the signal to Odyssey remains strong. Play EDL, images are starting to come down. We're beginning to get images. Right, we got images from coming down, folks. Stand by for images. Really has images. thumbnails coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. At this time, we're standing All by for linking. images. The thumbnails are complete. We got thumbnails. Yeah. Column is complete. Column is complete. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching the screen. There's more stuff. Any minute now. No. 256. Okay. We're, okay. So here we are. We're going to start. Go ahead. Okay. So we have landed. We've landed out at the time we thought we would. And we now have our first image. We have our first image. Um, this we've got is a 64 by 64 thumbnail. The front, a rear has cam image. You can see the shadow there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle, but uh, we're looking through it. In a few, I think in a, just a few minutes we might get even a, a, two, a, a larger 250, 256 uh, frame uh, 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 pixel image um, of that same same end. So we're looking at the shadow. See the horizon is actually in the distance. You can't really tell that. So we're looking actually at the shadow of the late afternoon sun. Uh, and uh, uh, so these are the rear has cams. These are the rear has cams, and, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It this does point. have a dust cover, but it's the dust. The cover is the problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we've just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. Fantastic. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get, oh yes! Ah! This is the high res, this is the 256 by 256 image. This is a higher resolution. You see dust particles on the window. Uh, you can see the horizon there in the background. And there is, there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars. I can't believe it, this is unbelievable. We, should, we might get another one of these, and if we're lucky, before Odyssey goes away, we'll get two more of these same injuries going the other side of the vehicle, and also probably dusty. 
This is amazing. So that yeah. is one of Curiosity's rover wheels, wheels exactly. on the surface of Mars. Yes. Whoa, wow, we, now we have another, there's another image coming down. This is a view looking the other direction. There's still, it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. This is another, this is a, another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the of rover. Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Odyssey transition is about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.